Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for August 2nd, 2019. My goodness, did we have a ugly Thursday. Thank goodness it's Friday, right? With that ugly price action that we had yesterday. First off, we had just a tremendous rally going on after the market was kind of calm down and uh, recovering from its FOMC ten temper tantrum. And uh, then the president came out with a an additional 10% uh, tariff threat that made the market turn a full 180 reversal. So let's talk about this for just a little bit. And I know a lot of folks probably suffered some losses yesterday and could be holding those currently but let's think about uh think about this market and let's not um panic here all of a sudden so first off what do we see here well obviously some pretty awful technical damage yesterday i said it this wasn't going to be an important sell-off unless we had follow through to this candle yesterday well we certainly got that and um it wasn't what we were thinking was going to happen when we were up 200 and some points on the day but that reversal pretty darn substantial and what we did is we broke down our trend and we sliced right through levels of price resist or price support that are pretty substantial we still have support levels in here that we could catch on but we we actually kind of sliced through those yesterday so this morning we're looking at a little gap down um, at least at the moment, we're looking at a little gap down. Remember, we have um, the employment situation number coming out at 8.30 this morning and several other economic reports. We'll talk about those in just a second. But obviously, the market's got kind of a dour mood heading into Friday. We could see some more selling, uh, certainly, come into play. Because one of the things markets really don't like to do is they don't like to float in midair. Um when they're uh, searching for support or resistance. So um, if this doesn't hold us right here, if we don't bounce right back up off of there, there's a, a relatively strong chance that we could move on down and test the level of support down in here. And that level, you know, trans, translates all the way back over here. So it's a relatively large level of support. So we could see some price support in there. If we do begin to rally, we're going to want to watch these levels up here um, in this rally. Now let's keep it, let's put this into perspective. I realize it was a painful day yesterday, but I have been talking about the possibility that we have been complacent in this market, just thinking that the market could never fall, it could never fall apart. Let's also keep in mind that yesterday, no one, as we rallied up 200 points, had any concern whatsoever that we currently have a 25% tariff on China and that negotiations had completely stalled. No one seemed to care about that, but now we issue a threat for 10%. And if you watched the news, you would think the world was coming to an end. So let's put this in perspective <laughs> and just realize that the market had rallied over 10% on the hopes of a rate cut in two months. And the tariff or the tr trade war meant nothing to the market. Nobody cared. Now, all of a sudden, this is front and center, but this too will pass. And um, remember, it is still just a threat um, at this moment, and it's a month off So uh, before it implements. So we could see this market begin to rally back here eventually. Now, I'm not saying it's going to happen today. Um, we could see some additional selling here on Friday in reaction. The real problem will happen in the market is if we begin to rally back and fail at a lower high. That's where the real technical damage will come into play in the market and where the real selling could come into play. Now, let's also keep in mind that um, August is typically a very difficult month for the market. Um, just that summer doldrums and a very difficult month for the market. Um, as a matter of fact, um, you can 
take a look at the Trader's Almanac. The Trader's Almanac will tell you August has been a, one of the most difficult months of the year, all the way back to 1987. So just kind of keep all this in perspective um, when you're looking at the market. So we have some issues here to deal with. Let's watch those support levels and watch those resistance levels. Try to remove yourself from the emotion of the day and just focus on the price action of the chart. Or better yet, maybe just take the day off, come back on Monday with a better perspective, ready to trade the market and better focused if you feel emotional or uh, have been damaged by this move. Sometimes just a day off can really help um, that trader refocus. Let's take a look at the SPY here real quickly. SPY obviously same similar situation, breaking down through this price support that I had mentioned yesterday. And um, the good news is that we have held on to this breakout support at least at the moment. Now we're showing a gap down below that this morning, but perhaps we can um, hold that as support and rally back up. Once again, I'm gonna to suggest to you the real damage is not going to occur in the market until we rally back and if we make a lower high, a fail to, to get back up there. That's where the real selling will begin. So kind of keep that in mind as you focus on the day. Um, if we if we do fail this level right here, then we have the ability to, to sink pretty hard in the SPY. Um, I don't suspect that's going to be the case. But if if we do fail here, levels right down in here are likely the next place we will test in the market. So just kind of stay focused on price action take a deep breath um this has happened before and it will happen again let's take a look at the cues cues also breaking down now this is a, little, a bit more critical in the sense that the cues breaking uh, below that breakout high um here in the nasdaq and we know that um this trade war is largely turned into kind of a tech war and <clears throat> we have some damage technical damage here on the chart. Now, if we move on lower, I would look for a price support in the chart somewhere down in here. And that price support really extends all the way back over here to these highs. Okay. So if we, if we start to slip lower, watch that level of support right there. Hopefully that will hold us. If we um, uh, start to rally back up, let's keep in mind that we could pop right back above this breakout and um, actually hold this as support and show a pretty good pattern here in the chart. So take a deep breath, there may be an opportunity here still, but what we don't wanna see happen is we don't wanna see that lower high failure that drops us back down because then we could be in real trouble. And that's where the real selling could come into play. Let's take a look at IWM. I gotta tell you, poor IWM has just been it's just been an emotional mess. Uh, trying to break out, trying to break out, whipping back the other direction, trying to break out, whip back the other direction. And um, yesterday, um, pretty substantial sell-off all of a sudden here in IWM. So we have that follow through um, here this morning. But the good news is we are still holding. We didn't break down through this price support here in the chart. So we'll have to kind of keep that um, in focus here this morning. And it looks like we're going to gap significantly below that this morning. But once again, remember, we have that potential after that gap down of really finding some rally back in here. Once again, I don't think we're going to have too much trouble here unless we fail a lower high. But we're going to want to be careful and be very watchful of those resistance levels as we move back up. Let's take a look at the VIX. Um, I have been mentioning for some time that the VIX um, has been showing to me complacency. Where we've rallied, rallied, rallied. Nobody seemed to be caring about anything anymore except, you know, just buying with both hands and rallying. And, um, and I mentioned before that I'm not concerned about um, 
the VIX until we break that downtrend. And to be honest, I'm not going to be super worried about the VIX unless this pulls back and holds either support in here or holds the trend as support because that's where real damage will come into the market. So if we get that rally back up, we could see that VIX pulling back. If we get that failure at a lower high, that's where we can really get these spikes in fear. And that's where the real damage will come in the market. Hopefully that doesn't occur. Maybe cooler heads will prevail and we'll just drift back down. I don't know. But certainly uh, that complacency created that problem that we have where we suddenly flipped over to fear. And I have been talking about that and kind of warning about this and just being a little bit perplexed as to why the market was ignoring everything and, and just flying to the upside. So let's keep uh, keep all of this in perspective. Let's look at T2122. T2122 is that four week new high, new low ratio. Now you can see that selling yesterday pushed us back down here toward that bearish, or excuse me, bullish reversal zone. The gap down this morning, if we happen to get some additional selling, is likely to put us down here in that reversal area. So keep that in mind. We may be reaching that very short term oversold condition where we've just emotionally stretched this out too far to the downside. So it could happen today. It could happen on Monday when we kind of reach down in here. Um, you know, we've kind of shaken the tree here pretty hard and, um, uh, then we get that bullish reaction back up. So watch that close. I don't think um, I don't think we're going to see a tremendous amount of selling today, but it is possible. Um, let's just watch that pretty closely. So with that, let's take a quick look at our economic calendar because we have some things on our economic calendar that um, I doubt it's going to overshadow the trade spin news out there. But uh, this uh, very significant numbers coming out this morning. We have the employment situation number here at 830 this morning. We can expect some kind of market reaction to that. And right now, jobs are staying very, very strong. And, and uh, the consensus on this suggests we're going to stay strong. Um, so we'll have to wait and see what the actual number comes out. But then we have international trade that obviously um, has a potential of moving the market. Consumer confidence and factory orders right after that. And those also have uh, the ability to move the market, particularly if there's a surprise. So we have a pretty full economic calendar today that... Um, could either relieve or or maybe even make this situation worse. We'll have to wait and see, but folk, make sure you're paying attention to that. Also, on the earnings calendar today, we have just short of 100 companies reporting earnings, so we get a little bit of relief on that earnings calendar um, as we rest just a little bit, but we'll have to wait and see because we're going to have um, another massive round of earnings next week. I mean, massive round of earnings next week. So kind of keep that in mind, this volatility that we're experiencing right now. I understand it's very, very challenging and it's difficult to navigate. That is likely to continue next week. So keep that in mind as you plan your risk forward into this weekend how you might want to um, approach the market, how you might want to handle that. And with that, everyone, hey, um, I, I just want to I just want to say this that is the exact reason why I do these videos. I do these videos because this is a preparation that I've been doing for years and years and years to take a look at the overall market, the factors that could be affecting the market today, try to put everything into perspective and think about how I want to approach the market for the day. Now, I do that before the day begins. So I have the mindset that I need to have as I approach that market um, this morning and every morning. And um, if you guys find these videos helpful, could you please do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when that little pop-up comes up so you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. I am not at ever attempting in these videos to um, predict the market direction. Only, only showing the, the things out there that could affect. We're looking at support, resistance, and trend and the real technicals of the chart. So... If, if this has been helpful to you, 
please do me a favor as well and click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. You don't have to leave any fancy comment or anything like that. I, I truly, truly appreciate everyone who takes the time to write these comments. And I got to admit, um, I'm truly humbled by some of the things that you guys are saying. I, I truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you very much. You, you honestly, you mean the world to me. And, and it is, um, it is because of you, the channel is seeing growth. Um, I try to do my best job to put out good quality content, but it's, it's your thumbs up buttons. It's your leaving comments. It's, it's those subscriptions that are making the difference. So thank you very much to everyone who does that. I truly, truly appreciate it. So let's take a look um, and, and at some charts that could be setting up. Now, I don't have a, a, a big list of short trades because I think the next response in the market is probably going to be a bounce back up. Um, we'll have to wait and see. But if you're really, really nervous about um, about where this market is, you might want to take a look at some of those safe haven trades, places like um, GLD. GLD, um, very, very strong yesterday with um, the tariff threat, and the, the fluctuations that are happening in currencies right now. So you might want to take a look at some of gold plays or maybe silver plays. Um, those tend to be that safe haven where people run for uh, some cover on those trades. Another place that you might look is utilities. Um, if you take a look at XLU, XLU has been moving down but had a really good day yesterday. And the reason people run to those utilities is for that security, though the dividends, the things like that uh, that come out. So you could see some of those stocks um, are responding and, and doing better um, as well. Now, stocks that are in that defensive sector, that place, the, the consumer, um, consumer staples, things like that, um, those are also um, places where you can look for some relative safety because those don't go away. Everyone needs, everyone needs shampoo, everyone needs underwear, everyone needs uh, those things. So um, a lot of times some of those sectors um, will start perking up in market pullbacks. So you'll want to maybe take a look at some of those stocks. And um, uh, if you're looking to uh, find just a little bit of safety overall. Um, barring that, there are stocks that are still holding up quite well. Let's take a look at TPX. TPX it did pull back, but it's holding onto its trend. If buyers can step up in here, um, show a little sign of love, we may have that opportunity to move up here. So um, it's worth watching. It's not a trade yet. And by the way, all of the stocks that I that I represent in these videos are not a recommendation to buy or sell anything. It's, it's more a study of the patterns and um, putting together that watch list of potential trades. So TPX, one of those that you might want to keep an eye on. Um, Mosaic. Mosaic had almost no response to that sell-off yesterday. And you can see Mosaic is in this rounded bottom breakout pattern, holding strong in here and starting to show those signs of upside move. So we rallied up really strongly. Now we're consolidating this resistance area up here. Let's watch for that next potential move higher here. It may not happen today, but could happen here in the near future. So it might be one you want to put on the list to take a look at. Now, stocks like Procter & Gamble were trying to set up yesterday, trying to show signs of moving back up. And then we had that news come out and really damaged some of these stocks. But let's keep in mind, this gapped up sharply on a really strong earnings report. So if we watch this area right in here as we fill this gap, it's possible we could find some buyers stepping up in here to pick this back up. Now, I would suggest after such a strong pullback, we probably need a few days of rest, two or three days of consolidation before we start looking for that upside move. But those kind of stocks are uh, looking pretty good and something you might want to keep an eye on. Stock like WDC. WDC um, obviously reacted negatively to that news yesterday, but managed to hold on to this price support. Um, this has been a nice little pullback, and yesterday WDC had started to make that move to the upside when we got that news. So let's watch this chart. It may delay this potential rally for a few days, 
but watch this chart pretty closely. WDC could still be setting up for a nice trade. Um, charts like BBBY just took it on the chin yesterday. Everything was setting up here and then bam, just got hammered. Now this is the effect of China uh, tariffs and the tech war. So um, as as these imports um, are really going to affect a company like BBB or BBY here, we want to watch this one pretty closely. Now, what I would suggest after such a damaging move, watch for that rally back. If you are looking for a short trade, watch for that rally back in a failure somewhere in around a resistance level. That would be the place to maybe take a chart like that short. Okay. Um, how about Lulu? Lulu, whoops, Lulu also took it pretty hard yesterday, um, failing at this price resistance. So once again, breaking trend, breaking support levels. We want to watch this. If this fails on down um, or it begins to rally back up, we want to look for that price resistance failure in here for a possible short. So a few short ideas, but let's just kind of keep in mind that um, this could correct itself. We could come right on back. Um, I don't think I would want to uh, bail out the window just yet on these trades. So I know it's painful, but um, hey, we've seen this before and we will see this again. It's just a natural progression of the market. So take that breath, get yourself refocused. Um, remember the discipline of trading. It's not an emotional thing. Don't let the emotion get to you. Reapproach that market. If you need to take a day off, do it. There's, that's one of the great things about the flexibility of a trader. We can take the day off. We can go get ourselves refocused. We can get things put back into perspective. So I, I um, hope everyone has a wonderful weekend and um, just realize that, hey, this will come back around. Um, we don't know when, but all we have to do is stay focused on the price action of the chart and be prepared without that emotional response. Everyone take care of yourself. Have an awesome weekend. We'll talk to you all bright and early Friday, uh, excuse me, Monday morning. Take care now.